Thank you, Fran. Now, wouldn't it be great if every time we went out on our bikes, we knew the road really well, we knew every twist and turn, then we could have some serious fun. Sadly, that's never going to be the case, but there are things you can use and places you can look which will help tell you which way the road ahead goes. Now, on this road, there's not too much of a problem. We can see well ahead and we know that the road is clear and there aren't too many twists and turns. Now we're following another vehicle which is completely blocking our view so we can use its movements to give us some idea of where the road goes. If the vehicle suddenly disappears left or right, we could be approaching a sharp bend or if its brake lights come on then that could be a warning that we're actually approaching a hazard. But one of the best ways to read the road is to use the road markings themselves. Here we're approaching a solid white line system which of course we mustn't cross and we mustn't overtake when it's on our side of the road. Now if we look ahead to where it becomes broken on our side then that is where the road starts to open up. So it becomes broken about there and we can see that now the road straightens out. Here's another example, solid white line so we'll look ahead to where it's broken which is there and we can accelerate through. If the white line remains solid, then that's an indication that the road continues to twist and turn. But once again, when it becomes broken, the road starts to open out. And it seems to work every time. I've yet to find a situation where that isn't the case. A solid white line means there's a hazard ahead. It could be a bend, a tight bend, it could be a blind dip in the road, a bridge, or something else that we need to address with caution. But where the line on your side of the road becomes broken, the road opens out and your view ahead is much, much better. You have a look next time you're out. Know.